my baked beans, all that you're gonna need is some pork and beans, okay? Um, you can use Van Camp's, that's my favorite. Or you can use the generic kind. Now, I don't like Bush's baked beans. That's not, mm-mm, don't like them at all. But if you like Bush's baked beans, you could try that, but I don't like them at all. So we're gonna use three cans of these Van Camp baked beans. Now, these are small. This is a 15 ounce can. So we're gonna use three of these. Next, we're gonna be using some sugar. This is a great value, cheap little Walmart sugar. Some ground cinnamon, this 98 cent at Walmart as well. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Then we're gonna use some Miss Buttersworth original syrup. Any kind of syrup is fine, any kind of syrup that you like. Normally, I be using, uh, I forgot the name of the other syrup I use, but this is the kind of syrup we got right now, so that's what we're gonna be using. Very easy and very sweet. So I have my three cans of baked beans inside of a pan. The first thing I'm going to do is pour some sugar. I do not use a measuring cup. I put however much sugar I want. And right now my answer is like a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, so about that much for me. You do however much you want at your house and I'm gonna do what I wanna do at mine. The next thing I'm gonna pour is a tad bit of syrup. Now with the syrup, I never put too much, okay? Like that much. That's enough syrup for three cans of beans. After that, what we're gonna do is add in our ground, ground cinnamon. Our ground cinnamon. Ground cinnamon. You can use cinnamon sticks as well, but for this video, I'm just using sugar, syrup, and um, cinnamon. Now it's kind of bubbling. You want to make sure you get it to stir. It's warm enough. It's been on now for about six minutes. It is warm enough, and we just want to make sure it's not sticking. Okay. If you let this thing bubble and boil without stirring, it will stick to the bottom and turn into like black sugar and it's not gonna be delicious. 